have the leisure of having a bathroom. And I wonder how much that's actually going to play a toll once they implement that in the game. Yeah, you, you are you're absolutely 100% right. Um, it, it's, it is important to think about all those things because it will they all will have an impact for sure. Um, for example, my the Anvil Carrick, right? My Carrick, the value of it, once 315 goes live, skyrocketed. Simply because it has a hospital bed on the ship. It's a, it's a respawn point. It's a hospital bed to fix you up, up to tier 3 injuries. It has massive cargo. It has interior for everything, essentially. So the value of it just blew up simply because medical gameplay just came online. So as features start to come in, the Carrick is going to continue to increase in value. Also, refueling. When refueling comes in, the Carrick has drones to refuel and to repair. And once repair comes in, it's just going to keep getting, becoming more valuable. So your Nomad is going to become more valuable as the patch, as the, the game continues to be developed. So yeah, it, it's good to start thinking about those things. It's a, it's a decent ship, man. And that's another reason why I thought about melting and just get rid of my package i thought about the insurance and i've been going back and forth because i'm now starting to learn the game about insurance and lti yeah. tokens yeah. so right now when i joined um i only have what is it four months of yeah. uh, insurance right now yeah where if i just completely went away with my entire package and then just went back and bought the nomad directly in that package i would have i think it's six months or seven months extra additional two months yeah and then mm. I also was looking at um, the freelancer versus the cutty. Now the freelancer has everything that the nomad doesn't. It even has a shower, bathroom. Right. Now I did research the. I guess the um, freelancer is supposed to have an engineering section inside of there also inside the ship. Oh yeah. That's what the computer is okay. used for. Okay. And then it also on the top of the freelancer, there's a port um, that's supposed to be used once they implement where you can uh, attach to other buildings and other ships. The docking. The docking. Okay. Yeah. So that's one reason why I've been looking at it. It's, it's a five man and it, ha it has just as much firepower as mm -hmm. the Cuddy. It's just a little bit heavier and slower. Mm, okay. But yeah, when it comes the... to cargo, the thing can pull a lot. Yeah. It does, it does have double the shields of the Cutlass as well. Yeah. That's, but that's I think right now it's going, what, what is it, 131? to get into that package i don't know for a freelancer yeah just the base freelancer yeah i haven't even checked it. but it sounds about right so i think it's like 110-ish for the cutlass and it's a little you more can, than the cutlass so. you can you can fit the look what you did there, to right? me man <laughs> <laughs> look what you did to me man <laughs> are, you can fit your nomad it there, up right <laughs> you can fit your um roc in a freelancer right Oh, yes. yeah. It's oh, tiny. you can fit two of them. Oh, yeah. You can fit two, two and a half. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, still, oh, yeah, okay. still load, uh, do cargo with two in there. Mm. Okay. It's very capable still. Very capable. I don't know 